Hello everyone, I'm Sreya Patharkar, the Managing Director of Lafayette Luxury Concierge Services and Lafayette Student Key. First of all, I would like to thank Smilo for giving this opportunity to me. And I think it's a great initiative where uh, they're coming together to inspire the youth. So starting off with my journey, uh, it has been a really interesting one from, you know, staying in three different countries to coming back to my own country and starting something which is out of the box. Trust me, it's not easy when you have to start like a very different concept or a different idea because it is really difficult to make the people accept what your concept is, what your ideas are and then move on to actually making it big. So starting with after my education, when I came back to India, I was just 21 years old and I was really confused like what to do. So I decided to do something which I'm passionate about. And since childhood, I was always passionate about traveling, fashion and luxury. So I decided to do image consulting, which uh, was just new in India that time. And after pursuing my image consulting, I actually went to Dubai to get my hands on it because you know Dubai is like a land of luxury, full of fashion. So I thought I would freelance and see how it goes over there. Definitely it was a very good experience. I got to work with a lot of H&Is, with a lot of Emiratis. So I got a lot of exposure to uh, different cultures, I must say. And while pursuing my image consulting and personal shopping, I also studied luxury brand management. After two years, I knew my potential were much bigger and I wanted to do more in life. And that's when I decided to come back to India and launch a concierge firm. It wasn't like an easy piece of cake and uh, we had to actually go through a lot where people were not first of all trusting that okay, a young girl has started with a concierge firm, how is it going to be and what would she be able to pull off. But here is where my belief in the law of attraction really works. I'm a big, big believer of law of attraction and I think if you can believe it, you can do it. And I knew that I was going to make it big. I knew this was going to work. So after six months of working on vendors, getting people on board, we actually, um, you know, shot up to like a lot of clients, a lot of members, and we were able to give them the experience we had promised for. Few years down the line, um, we also faced like a major, major setback when I decided because of my over ambitious, um, you know, like I'm over ambitious. So I wanted to actually launch my firm in Singapore and uh, that was a bit of challenging because when I went there, there was a situation where we kind of got scammed, but that was something what taught me a lot in life. So what I would like to tell the young generation today is if you fail, don't, you know, just don't give up or don't uh, sit crying about it or think, is a, think it as a setback. In fact, failures are the bricks to success. If you don't fail, you're not going to succeed in life. So take failures as an experience which will actually help you to do better in life and you won't repeat that mistake again. At a very early age, I learned all these things which actually uh, prepared me for future. So after that, we started with uh, Lafayette, uh, we started with our student concierge firm and the first one in India to be very honest. It's like when a student applies for university and goes for university, we are like an ideal companion to them. We take care of their entire um, lifestyle, like besides education, their accommodation, getting them to a job, their CV making, to settling them down. So that's like a security for parents also and for the student as well. So that was like my journey from being an uh, image consultant, personal shopper to an entrepreneur. Coming to giving advices to the youth, I think you all should take risks. Follow your passion, do what you feel like. Because if you don't do it, you're going to regret it. And if you pursue it and you can't, you know, if you don't succeed, don't be afraid of it, but try another way. There's always a way. And always remember, you need to believe before you do anything. Believe in yourself, believe in your idea. Because if you don't believe it, no one else is going to believe it. 
um, so yeah all the best and uh, thank you once again smilo for this opportunity please follow the page give likes on this video and all the best for the future